Welcome back investors to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam and today we're talking about PayPal, ticker symbol PYPL. PayPal is a compelling long-term play on the persistent growth trend of digital payments as the company's growth story remains very strong over the next decade. PayPal is breaking its own records, growing faster than ever before, having major tailwinds setting up the company to be one of the major winners of the global shift to digital payments, including cryptocurrencies. And if PayPal is not a part of your portfolio yet, then this is the video that you've been waiting for to help show you the why and the how PayPal wins. And if you like free Bitcoin and free stocks, stay tuned till the end for more details. PayPal is a leading fintech company that enables digital and mobile payments through its technology platform. PayPal's core business is the offering of global payment solutions to merchants and consumers. At the end of 2020, PayPal had about 377 million active accounts of which about 348 million were consumer accounts and 29 million were merchant accounts. PayPal's revenue stream comes mainly from charging fees, currency conversions, and credit products to its merchant clients. PayPal is also very active in cryptocurrencies, which is set to continue its growth and provide an additional revenue source for PayPal. During the past few years, Consumers and businesses have increasingly adopted new payment methods beyond cash and of course the rise of e-commerce has also been an important growth driver of digital payments across the world. Revenues for the industry have grown roughly at 7% per year over recent years to a total of just under $2 trillion in 2019 according to McKinsey data. And this growth is only expected to accelerate in the future as digital payments continue to increase their market share as a percentage of total banking revenues. This background has been very supportive of PayPal's growth outlook as one of the leading companies in this industry. PayPal's revenues have increased at a compounded annual growth rate of 20.8% during the past five years, a much higher growth rate than the global payments industry and above its largest competitors like Visa and MasterCard. Recently, the growth of digital payments has shifted due to the pandemic, which has had a negative effect on growth of the global payments industry. PayPal, however, has remained on a strong growth path because its business is clearly more exposed to digital transactions rather than physical payments. This means that the pandemic has barely impacted PayPal's business, while it has been a significant setback for PayPal's competitors. COVID-19 has been a positive catalyst for the long-term growth of PayPal because digital payments became more adopted last year, people will likely use less cash for payment transactions in the future. Accelerating even further the growth of digital payments across the world. Over the next few years, growth is expected to remain quite rapid and should even be higher than in recent years. The global digital payments industry is expected to have a revenue growth of 13.7% through 2021 and through 2026, which is almost double the growth in recent years. This clearly shows that digital payments will be a source of major growth for the industry being a very good backdrop for companies like PayPal, who already operate in this space for many years to come. Now, PayPal is clearly in a very good position to maintain solid growth for the next decade, being potentially one of the major winners of the global shift to digital payments, including cryptocurrencies and e-commerce. 
it's not surprising that PayPal has strong growth ambitions for many more years, aiming to generate more than $50 billion in revenue by 2025, more than double its 2020 revenue, both from the growth of its existing business, higher customer engagement, and new offerings that will increase PayPal's total addressable market. And this roadmap doesn't even include the opportunities that cryptocurrencies can provide. PayPal expects to double the number of active accounts over the next five years and triple the volumes transacted, which seems to be achievable considering its growth history and the strong growth prospects of the global payments industry. This means that $50 billion in revenue by 2025 represents a compounded annual growth rate of about 20% during 2020 through 2025, showing that PayPal has very good growth prospects in the coming years. PayPal also expects to improve its business margins during this period. Its earnings are expected to increase at a compounded annual growth rate of 22% over the next five years and generate more than $40 billion in free cash flow. Are you enjoying this video so far? Make sure to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to join our family of investors. Now, PayPal's financial performance has a very good track record with revenues and earnings growing quite rapidly over the past few years. From 2001 to 2020, PayPal's revenues increased at a compound annual growth rate of around 20% and its earnings increased at a compound annual growth rate of 31%, a very impressive achievement. More recently, the company's growth was not interrupted by the coronavirus as the secular growth trends of e-commerce and cash displacement accelerated with the pandemic, being a very strong tailwind for the company's growth. In 2020, PayPal posted record financial numbers regarding its revenues, volumes, net new active accounts, and earnings. PayPal's revenues increased by 20.8% year over year to $21.5 billion, a level that is very close to Visa's annual revenues, showing that PayPal has achieved a very large size despite being a much younger company. Beyond higher revenues, its business margins and free cash flow generated also improved. Again, incredible performance. This positive financial performance was justified by the shift to online shopping and transactions due to COVID-19, but also due to PayPal's new offerings, such as the option to buy and hold digital currencies during the first quarter of the year. Its net income amounted to $4.2 billion, an increase of 70% year over year boosted by organic growth and gains on some investments and its free cash flow was about $5 billion or 23% of its revenue, which shows that PayPal has a very good cash flow generation capacity. During the first quarter of 2021, PayPal has maintained an impressive operating momentum with volumes up 50% year over year and revenue up 31% year over year. Active accounts grew by 21% to 392 million while it added 14.5 million net new accounts during the quarter. Its operating margin improved to 27.7% and non-GAAP EPS grew by 84% year over year, and free cash flow amounted to 1.54 billion or 25% of its quarterly revenue. For the full year of 2021, its guidance was revised upwards with Q1 earnings, and PayPal now expects to grow revenues at about $25.7 billion 
which represents annual growth of about 20%, EPS growth around 21% year over year, and about $6 billion in free cash flow. This clearly shows that PayPal's growth momentum is not slowing down and will continue for several quarters to come. This will put PayPal on course to reach its 2025 targets and most likely shatter the goal altogether if it continues to grow at this pace. Regarding its capital allocation, PayPal has used its cash flow generation capacity to finance several acquisitions and repurchase its own shares. Going forward, this strategy is not expected to change much as PayPal should continue to invest in fintech innovation through PayPal Ventures, while share buybacks will be the main way to return capital to shareholders, even though the company may decide to start distributing dividends in the coming years. PayPal has a very good business, and its growth prospects are very strong, both from industry tailwinds and its own growth initiatives. I think this is one of the best ways to play the secular growth trend of digital payments, as PayPal's business model is completely focused on digital channels, while its competitors still rely significantly on physical transactions. I see PayPal as a very compelling long-term play in the fintech industry. Now, let's talk about buying opportunities. And don't forget, many companies like Robinhood offer fractional shares, so you can get started on your investor journey without having to buy full shares of a particular company. If you would like more information about fractional shares, click the link in the description below. PayPal has been trading in a defined channel moving sideways since December of last year. Right now, PayPal is about to reach resistance of this trading channel, which sits at about $275 a share. So we need to watch it closely when the market opens this week. Will PayPal continue its pattern, tap resistance, then fall over the next few weeks to support? Or will PayPal have enough momentum to push through resistance? Looking at the chart, as PayPal has been moving up in share price towards that resistance line, trading volume has been declining, which tells me PayPal will not have enough momentum to push through resistance unless some major news comes out. That's why we need to watch the charts this week. If PayPal hits resistance and fails to push through, then I would set a stock alert for $235 as that's where support sits for PayPal. However, there is an old resistance level at $255 that could turn into support because many times old resistance levels can become new support levels. So here's my plan for this week. If PayPal breaks down at resistance around $275, I will wait to see whether volume starts to pick up when we get to $255, that old resistance level. If not, my stock alert will already be set for $235 as a possible target to add more shares, which in my opinion is a good long-term buy and hold. What are your thoughts on PayPal? Is it in your portfolio? And remember the free Bitcoin and free stocks I mentioned earlier? Well, stay tuned, details are coming right up. And as always, if you've watched till the end, you, my friend, are totally awesome. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. You can help out the channel and earn free money while doing it. First, earn $10 worth of Bitcoin by signing up for a BlockFi interest account and depositing $100. Plus, the added benefit to using BlockFi is that you will earn interest of up to 8.6% annually on your cryptocurrency. Second, earn two free stocks worth up to $1,850 by signing up to Webull and depositing $100.
click the links below to get started.